What's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. It is officially NHL 23 season, so I thought I'd bring you guys another helpful video. This one is going to be me teaching you guys how to deke in NHL 23. That is right, guys. NHL 23 is officially out if you pre ordered the game, and I thought. What is a better video to first upload for NHL 23 other than how to teach you guys how to deke? Now, there are some new deeks in NHL 23 uh, that I will be highlighting in this video, but I will be teaching you guys all the former deeks as well. So let's just get right into it. I want to teach you guys how to look slick on that ice and make your opponent look absolutely silly. So let's start off simple here we got the backhand tuck uh this is something you could do on a breakaway that can fool the goaltender i don't know how efficient it is in nhl 23 but back in 21 or 20 it was very op i don't know if it is again this year but to do the backhand tuck what you're going to want to do is hold your stick out to your forehand and then you're going to hit both rb and lb if you're on playstation it's r1 and l1 i will be talking in the xbox terms but as you can see on the screen you have it in playstation terms as well so that is how you do the backhand tuck next is the forehand tuck similar as the backhand tuck you're just going to hold the puck out to your forehand this time and then same thing you're going to hit both rb and lb and that will perform the forehand tuck so the next thing i'm going to teach you guys how to do is how to get around your opponents pretty efficiently uh, so this one is called the backhand windmill simple deke to do can be very efficient So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold LB and then you're gonna go L with your right stick If you want a little bit more efficient of a deke You can hold it out to your backhand and then hold LB and then L with your right stick And it looks a little bit more cleaner and uh, I think it's more smoother that way as well Next is a forehand windmill same thing hold the puck out to your forehand hold LB and then out with the left stick and uh, it'll perform the forehand windmill. It's a very efficient way to get around your opponent if they come in tight to you. Next thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do is the bang pass. This is something that will help you get around your opponent if you're close to the boards as well. So for the bang pass, what you're gonna do is click both LB and RT at the same time and it's gonna flick the puck off the boards. You're gonna speed around your player and go chase that puck. If, you're, if your opponent comes in tight to you, you have enough space to chip it off of the boards and go around them, it's a very efficient deke to do. So the next deke I'm gonna teach you guys is one that I like to call the Crosby. You can also call it the behind the net, but I like to call it the Crosby. What you're gonna wanna do is if you're behind the net, same thing as the bank pass, you're gonna click both LB and RT, but instead of it chipping off of the boards, it'll chip it off of the net. Your opponent will be going the other way while you'll be going the other way. Uh, that they're going you're gonna grab the puck get around him and you could pass it out in front maybe do a nice little uh wrap around it's a pretty efficient deke it's not used a lot but honestly when the time is right uh it can really do your opponent in the next deke i'm going to teach you guys is the behind the back this is more of a complicated one uh so if you guys need to um pause it read it on screen the controls and try doing it this one is literally a practice makes perfect deke uh, this took me so long to learn, so let's just get right into it. So, for the behind the back, what you're going to want to do is hold your puck out to your forehand. While your puck, uh, while the puck is out on your forehand, you're going to hit and hold RB. You're then going to rotate your right stick to the left and put your left stick inwards and then both sticks outwards and it'll complete the deke. So, this one is more uh, of a complicated deke. Um, it's harder to pull off in game two, like... You need your opponent to come in tight to you, and uh, you can get around him. It's not; it's really hard to pull off, guys. Um, but if you practice, like I said, practice makes perfect. Uh, it took me years to get this down, but trust me, um, those are the controls. If you keep going after it, you'll get it. Let's go back to more simple deeks here. We got the between the legs pass. Uh, so what you're going to do here is hold down LB and your right stick, and then you're going to hit RT to pass it. Obviously, with your left stick, you're going to aim where you want to pass it to, uh, but that's how you do the pass. And then you get the between the legs shot. Similar to the between the legs pass, you're going to hold down LB and your right stick, and then flick up on your right stick to shoot the puck. The next deke I'm going to teach you guys is the Datsuk flip. This is a more simple deke to do, and something you want to do probably on a breakaway when you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender. So what you're going to do to complete the Datsuk flip is click your right stick in, push it down, and then hit RB to flick the puck up. So what it does is it drags the puck back, 
the goaltender will bite on it, think you're going to shoot, then you're going to chip it over his shoulder, and it could go in. So pretty cool deke to pull off, and it could fool the goalie uh, once in a while. Then you got the Datsuk shot. Again, similar to the Datsuk flip, you're going to click your right stick in and push it down, and then flick up on the right stick to shoot the puck. You get a very, very hard shot off of it, but it is not the most accurate shot as well. The next thing I'm going to show you is maybe something you can pull off if someone tries diving uh, to trip you to avoid a trip or dive to take you out of the play. This is called the jump deke. So to complete the jump deke, you're going to click RB and then at the same time flick up on your right stick. It's a pretty simple deke to pull off. Now we're getting into probably the most complicated deke in the game. Um, and it's very hard to pull off even if you're good at the controls. We got the Michigan. Um, so again, as last year, I couldn't hit it in this video and I probably won't be able to do it again because you need very good deking stats for it. But to pull off the Michigan, you're going to hold the puck to your forehand. You're going to hold down LB. Then you're going to hold your right stick in and then you're going to rotate your stick to the left and then to the right and it'll complete the deke. Now, you want to do this deke obviously behind the net. Uh, very rare to pull off. Uh, but if you pull it off, um, honestly, huge bragging rights. Now, this one is a new deke added into NHL 23. It might be the only new deke that got it added into NHL 23, uh, at least to my knowledge. This one's called the Zegris. You've seen him pull it off in real life where he fakes a Michigan and flicks the puck over as a pass and it gets hit out of midair. So to complete this deke, it's pretty much the same as the Michigan. Now to pull off the Zegris, it is pretty similar to the Michigan, just with one added step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your puck to the forehand, you're gonna hold down LB and hold in the right stick. You're then gonna rotate the right stick to the left and then to the right, and then hit RB to pass the puck in midair and it'll go to the player in front of the net who will try to bat it into the net. Again, probably one of the more complicated deeks. Well, not more, one of the most complicated deeks in the game. Again, if you pull it off, huge bragging rights, really rare to pull off and to find the right time to pull it off. But again, bragging rights if you if you pull it off, man, it's simple. All right, let me bring you guys back down to earth. We're going to go back to the simple deeks here. We got the one-touch backhand. So to do the one-touch backhand, you're going to hit an LB and at the same time, L with the right stick. This is very effective if you want to sidestep your opponent. And then you get the one-touch forehand, similar to the one-touch backhand. You're going to hit LB and then at the same time, go L with your left stick and you'll do it with your forehand. Obviously vice versa, depending on the handedness of the player. Another very simple deke to pull off in game is called the skate kick. To complete the skate kick successfully, you're going to hold down the left bumper and then at the same time down with the right stick and you will push the puck to your skate and kick it back up to your stick. The next deke I'm going to teach you guys how to do is the through the legs deke. To complete the through the legs deke, what you're going to do is hold the puck to your forehand and then hit RB and rotate your stick uh, to the left and the puck will go through your legs. Very efficient to pull off on your opponent if they are attacking your stick and you want to get around them. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is the toe drag, the nice and simple clean toe drag. If you want to make your opponent look silly, what you're going to want to do to complete the toe drag is hold the puck to your forehand and then uh, rotate your right stick to the left. Uh, and it'll pull it off again vice versa depending on the handiness of the player you are using We next got the toe drag shot, which is very similar to the toe drag You're gonna hold the pucks your forehand rotate your stick to the left and then flick up to shoot the puck This will be that Austin Matthews toe drag shot that can be very very effective in game down to our final two deeks of the video We got the Kyle Turris. He pulled this off in a couple shootouts years back. So what you're going to want to do to pull out the Kyle Turris is hold the puck to your forehand. You're going to hit and hold LB and then go down with your right stick. And it'll, uh, what you'll do is the puck will get pushed to the outside of your skate. You'll kick it back to your uh, stick and it completes a deke. Again, I don't know how efficient this is to show in game. This is more of a shootout type move or a penalty shot type move. And then the last deke, one of my favorite dekes ever, to be honest, this one's called the Zetterberg. So to complete the Zetterberg, what you're going to want to do is hold the puck to your backhand. You're going to hit and hold LB. You're going to go outwards with both sticks and then inwards with both sticks and you complete a deke that looks like this. Very effective to get around your opponent. Again, if they're attacking your, uh, your stick on your forehand, 
quickly move it to your backhand. They'll start attacking the backhand, and then you'll get them when you push the puck back to your forehand and then back to your backhand, and it looks super clean when you pull it off correctly. Guys, that is all the deeks that I wanted to teach you guys how to do. If you guys have any other deeks that I've possibly missed out on, leave it down in the comment section below, and maybe I'll make a part two of this video, or if you guys want to help out other people in the comments as well, I will be doing the same. You can just drop a comment and say, hey, this is what you forgot. This is what you got to do for this deek that you forgot. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I am so so hyped and pumped that it is NHL 23 season, man. I am so excited to start grinding out some content. I will see you guys so, so soon with another upload. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys um, learn some new deeks this year. And hopefully, you guys will make your opponents look super silly. Anyways, guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for three times uh, a week upload schedule, uh, which I will be following this year more than three months. I promise. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!